Here's the tail of the tape of this Muay Thai fight. We've got Eli Bonner, three and four, age 25. Five, 10, reach of 70, and weight of 150. So almost identical guys with Graham Perkins. One and one, age of 22, height 5'9", reach 69, and weight at 149. Guys, Eli Bonner, Graham Perkins, buckle up. Out of Thailand, I've experienced that myself, and you are so humbled in that country, especially with in the Muay Thai. You're just so technical. You're so fine-tuned in your Muay Thai. I'm very excited for this fight. However, Graham, Graham has a very interesting story. Graham started. I Perkins. He started boxing because his grandpa used to box yep. as an amateur and, and started teaching him at a young age. So he tends to favor boxing, but, you know, he just loves, he just, oh, he just, he loves all of this. He said that Graham did say that he had to pull in a lot of boxers for this camp just because of the shortage of, of teammates and training partners out here. So as you can see, his hands are very, very sharp. Beautiful. Lightning fast. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful leg kick here from Bonner. Perkins seems like he's definitely the aggressor right now. He's got beautiful hands. His hands are clean. Nice outside leg kick. Perkins out of the blue, Connor out of the red. Oh, nice uppercut. Nice common. Oh, oh, big strike there by Perkins. Oh, he look at the, and he's putting on the pressure right now. And there are elbows, Dave, in this, in this bout here, which is really nice to see. We just saw Bonner attempt a an elbow there, or excuse me, Perkins attempt an elbow. Oh, that right hand's nasty. Massive shot again by Perkins. Nice outside leg kick. Machine oh. type of uh, accuracy in round one by Perkins. Bonner is, is also throwing elbows. He did a great job of stepping in on the right hand and throwing that right elbow. Ooh, beautiful switch. Well, he's Ooh. bleeding from that elbow. Yep. Great call, Pearl. Right at the hairline on the right side. I've got the same cut. <laughs> I do. I got stitched up for that one. Oh, nice outside leg kick again by Mr. Perkins. <laughs> Tough jab there. Oh, that was a nice body kick. Oh, those are beautiful. They come right up the armpit. Those kicks, if landed properly, can actually put your shoulder, take your shoulder out. This is such a strategic fight here. I mean, both of these gentlemen are neck and neck in, in technique and skill here, and will. Oh! Beautiful counter there by Perkins. Ooh. Beautiful. Has Bonner on the ropes. Beautiful body shot, but countered by, by Bonner. Fantastic. Man, a hell of a fight so far here, guys. 15 seconds left of round number one. Gosh, this is such a great fight. We are live at the Pensacola Bay Center at Island Fights 81. Both of them composed. No one's swinging crazy here. They're, they're great, great stance and structure. Beautiful, Phenomenal. beautiful display of skill by both athletes. Round number two. Ooh, look at that, checking that outside leg kick. He actually threw, he's, he's attempting a teep on the opposite leg, which is a fantastic, it's a very high level counter to the kick. Ooh, nice, nice kick there for both, both athletes. Man, I'm so impressed with Perkins' leg game, his kick game. See, he did. He talked to us about boxing. You, when you kind of nice grow check. up as a grandfather teaching you how to box, you would think he's going to be 80% boxer, 20% kicker. Not tonight. Perkins is showing all the uh, striking skills out of all four limbs. And he's adjusting so well in this. He's stepping in when he needs to. He's fighting the range and throwing these legs and throwing kicks when he's out of range. I mean, he's doing a fantastic job of adjusting in different ranges here. But... Let's not take away from what Bonner's doing. Bonner has got this beautiful structure and Muay Thai stance. Sitting in the pocket here, unwilling to really backstep and, and, and get out of this fight. 
the, the thing that worries me, though, is he does have this traditional Muay Thai stance, which is very linear, very tall. Yeah. And he is getting caught with the right hand on those. And that, that, those are tough to take when your knees are not bent and, and you're not in this crowd, almost like a crouched position. Oh, spinning back elbow. That was beautiful. Love that by Bonner. He's got to try that again. Ooh, that right hand, though. <laughs> It's funny, Perkins didn't like it, it kind of, he turned it up. He's like, okay, you're, you're gonna throw something? All right, that's all. Ooh. I, that body shot hurt him. I love that. I love that. Graham went over and bowed to, to Bonner's corner, paying his respect, but also showing that you know he's here and he's, he's doing his work. His body's hurt and that's tough. I, I think that Graham is fighting a great fight here. I just don't like, or excuse me, Bonner's fighting a great fight here. I just don't like that he's allowing Perkins to to pressure him. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Perkins is leading this dance. He is. No doubt about it. Ooh. That was a good shot there. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. They, these two gentlemen are so Respectful. So we saw in this fight Graham start to take over in round two. Let's see how Bonner is able to adjust to this fight here and, and see if he can create or find a different strategy to, to win this round. I think that they're, they are. They're very uh, competitive in this fight. I don't envy the position, the person that has to sign that contract against Graham Perkins. I mean, either of these athletes are not an easy fight, and especially in Muay Thai. Ooh. Ooh. Great combination there. I think that Bonner would be much more effective if he wasn't stepping back and, and walking backwards and fighting on his back foot. If he kind of just stood and held his ground and held the position, I think he'd find much more success in his strike in his striking. Sometimes you have to bully the bully. Yes. Yes. And I get why he's trying to create the space. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Graham has fantastic, fantastic sh boxing. So I see why he wants that space for his kicks, but you've got to sit in that pocket and find find some success in it. Ooh. Beautiful feint there by Perkins. That was a nasty body kick. Those kicks are nasty. They're, they're, they're just continuously landing on the forearm. Oh, nice combo, a little outside leg kick into a short Ooh, elbow. More short here. elbows. Beautiful, finishing with the body. Ooh. One minute left in this one. Oh. There he goes, that was great. 30 seconds left. Oh! <laughs> Potter returns. And phenomenal action here. Perkins again, the outside leg kick into a short elbow. 10 seconds left here, round number three. How will Perkins end this fight? Oh! Bonner with a head kick, barely missed. Great fight. Fantastic fight.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored the bout identically with 30 to 27 scores for your winner by unanimous decision from the blue corner, Graham Perkins. Could have done a little bit better. I, uh, I think I broke my hand in the first round when I called with that left hook. So I couldn't really say anything with my jab, but the elbows were working. I never elbowed anyone before. That was cool. Uh, but yeah, he's a great fighter, great dude. Uh, way better tattoos than I have. So I hope to do this again pretty soon. You mentioned that your grandpa is the one who got you involved in this. How does it feel to put on a beautiful display of boxing tonight? Uh, this past year, actually, he passed. So. No, it's okay. It, it felt really good. Um, I love him and I miss him, but all thanks, all praise to my team, uh, Thomas Webb over there, everybody back at Core UFC Gym at Sherwood. If you're watching, I love y'all. Go to sleep. It's our late, but I'm going to stay up and have some beers. And Papa, I love you if you're washing down. And I don't know. Fuck yeah. That was great. <laughs> Fantastic performance. What an incredible display of respect technical skills here. Congratulations on your win. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Graham Perkins.